Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. 10% science hard mode, blah, 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 blah. You get the drill. There's a science tree. It, well, it is. It's, it's just, anyway. So in the last video, we were not able to launch because of the simple fact that the actual probodyne stay put Nick can't do retrograde or even SAS. So unfortunately, we will need a Kerbal in order to make this work. This time, instead of having all three of them, I'm just going to have one pilot and a scientist. So in the highly unlikely event that something bad happens, we didn't at least wipe out our, our entire astronaut population. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Okay, so I'd say that was a little too steep. We lost some landing gears, but, uh, boy. Stage separation. So next time when I make the gravity turn, I'll make it a little sooner. Interestingly enough, if you do a gravity turn, you find that you're going straight up a little bit more than what you'd like, and you want to tilt into your gravity turn some more, you just turn the throttle down. But you gotta be careful, because if you turn the throttle down too much, you'll make the turn a little too soon, and then when you realize it and panic and go full throttle, you end up burning off all your landing gears. However, we can navigate around this by simply making the gravity turn sooner. So instead of 70,000 meters per second, I'll try it at 60,000 meters per second before I make my gravity turn. And again, gravity turns are very simple. You simply go down to 80 degrees and then you just click on prograde and let the physics do the rest. So we have 3,400 meters per second. We can definitely land on the moon. I actually made these fuel tanks project a little further out to act as landing gears just in case something like this would have happened. So this time I have a fin in the front so that way all the lift is in the in the front of the craft which means that during re-entry it should stay ass end first all the way in. Alright let's open her up. Next, we need to fix our orbit. It's a little janky. Alright, the moon is over the horizon, beginning our, beginning our burn towards the moon. With any luck, nothing bad will happen. Okay, so as many of you are probably screaming about in the comments below, yes, I totally forgot about the first stage. <laughs> we can chalk it up as some sort of uh, uh, mechanical electrical error. Definitely not pilot or player. Moving on. Ooh, that was a good capture. Really nice. 40,000 meters from the surface of the moon. That is really nice. I'll have to remember that. Or grind a whole bunch of money and upgrade the satellite dish building doohickey bullshit. Bleh. I'm 
I'm going to start our burn about 30 seconds out just to see where we are at because the engine is not that strong, so it might take longer. Oh no, oh no, oh no, our electric charge, this thing, shit. That's the reason why I didn't use it last time. This freaking engine doesn't generate electricity. Oh shit, and we're burning through it. Uh, I think it's, I think it's the stay put, Nick, hibernate. There we go. Whoa. Oh no, 60 units of electric charge, and there's no freaking way to recharge this shit? Oh man, I knew there was a reason why I was so hesitant to get the Terrier. I knew there was a fucking reason why I was so hesitant to get the Terrier. Damn it! This is what happens when you don't listen to your gut. It's not your guys' fault. I had the same conclusion. Terrier, higher, higher ISP, better fuel more mileage, blah, 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 blah. But in my very depths of my soul, something told me that this was a bad move. No, we'll run out of electricity before. Fuck. Uh, I can make a single burn maneuver try to head back to Kerbin, do whatever course corrections I need to do, and then just turn everything off for the trip back. This is like an Apollo 13 all over again. Hopefully the way that the craft was designed, it will go ass end first into Kerbin and stay that way without any SAS assistance whatsoever. And we'll have just enough juice to open up the parachutes. Wow, this thing was cursed. This is cursed. That is cursed. <laughs> Everything is always cursed with you. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're heading back to Kerbin, or at least we're going to try. Oh man, we're burning something. Why is electricity going down? Everything was off. What is, what is on? What are we burning up here? I don't know, but she's draining something somewhere. Here we go. Activating SAS retrograde. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Oh, we're out of electricity. Oh, shit. Holy crap, we're still burning up. We have no electricity. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me some shoots. Give me some damn shoots. Give me some fucking shoots. meters from the surface and we just were able to initiate the shoots I thought they were dead I thought they were dead holy crap <sighs> <sighs>
Ha, huh, mini heart attack averted. I thought they were dead. Well, these damn wings didn't work like they were supposed to. Fucking hell. Alright, time to take down notes. Fins in the front don't work. The terrier does not generate electricity. Good to know. I really thought they were gonna die. I thought that was it. Jebediah and Bob, that was it. That was their last hurrah. Going out in a blaze of glory. Holy crap. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you loved what you saw, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. Wait, can I get science here? No. What? what? Wait, I could have swore I got science in the desert already. I'll take it. I'll take any little tiny little itty bitty microscopic win that I can freaking get. Let's go. <laughs> any little tiny little microscopic win that I can get, I will take. That's such a shame too because uh, these, these fins in the front were really growing on me. They were really looking badass. They were lo really looking good, but come to find out that they don't really serve that good of a purpose. There's a reason why the Solar Nations lander many, many, many years ago worked very well. It's because they used a crap ton of girders on the bottom engines and put all the weight down here. I might have to mimic that again, but it was just so inefficient with all those girders. But we'll see. All right, I love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Damn. <sighs> damn. Damn, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Do we even need freaking landing gears? Damn. I mean, I could, I could ditch the lander completely and build some sort of moon space plane that has, you know, zero control. Never mind.